I'm Joel Weiss. My name is Deborah Weiss. I live in Toronto by way of New York City, Brooklyn, actually, and I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer a little over six years ago. Deborah and I met at Brooklyn College in the library. I would say hi, he'd say hi, and finally one day he said to me, would you like to go for a walk? And one thing led to another, and uh, now we're married almost 60 years. Probably the most important thing I did in my life was marrying Deborah. We still send each other Valentines, one from us to each other, and one to the dog, from the dog. We love each other. And like each other. <laughs> we like each other. I had a lot of pain in my middle back, and we did some blood work. My lipase, which is one of the pancreatic enzymes, was off the charts. I had an MRI, which concluded that I had pancreatic cancer. It was not an easy diagnosis, and we heard that, that not too many people survive. I had a tumor that was wrapped around my superior mesenteric artery. They said that surgery was not possible, and I started a regimen of a pretty uh, tough chemo called Fulforinox, and I had four sessions. I had a, another CAT scan, and the CAT scan showed that the tumor had increased. My niece, her uncle by marriage, is an oncologist in pancreatic cancer at Columbia Presbyterian Hospital, and he said that we should be looking at something called the nano knife procedure where uh, they put electrodes around the tumor and they pass a current and it kills the cancer cells. And from that point on, I felt as if Joel's going to do whatever it takes to get through this. that a lot of the men in the waiting room had lost a lot of weight. And as Joel began to lose weight, I noticed his clothes just were hanging on him. So we went shopping for clothes that were a smaller size, you know, just to make him feel better than, than just looking like he was a very sick man. I don't want to just think about being sick. I need to think about other things. I'm president of my condo board. It was very important for me to stay uh, on the board, even though it was difficult. Some days he wasn't feeling very well, but he would still chair a meeting. Sometimes he couldn't go to the meetings, but he would be there on the telephone. When I found out about Wellspring, which is a nonprofit group devoted to cancer, they actually had a peer support group program for pancreatic cancer. I work with patients. Deborah works with caregivers. They can tell me things that they may not tell their caregiver or to friends or even to their doctors. One of the things that's really important that I tell people is that you don't always accept what the doctors say, that you question them. When people used to see me when they knew that I had pancreatic cancer, I could see in their faces they were always saying goodbye to me. The statistics are getting better. You have to be your own best advocate and you have to be more knowledgeable about your affliction.